PickerRepair.com. We're all in this together. Hey, Ed over here at PickerRepair.com. Question is, what causes thickums to fail? So, what causes thickums to fail is inadequate supply side voltage or spiky supply side voltage. And this can be an over time thing or it can be a all at once thing. Over time is by far the most popular way that they fail. A little bit of inadequate supply side voltage here and there and pretty soon you've got a thickum problem. Some low batteries, maybe the kid left the dome light on or something like that and you come out to dead batteries, you had to get a jump start. All these things can cause thickums to fail. So can alternators though. It's like, well, hold on a second, don't my battery light's not on. Yeah, I know. So just because your battery light's not on and just because your alternator's charging does not mean it's good. So something caused your thickum to fail. Perhaps it was somebody who worked on the high pressure oil system. They changed out an injector or snap to connect fitting or they changed out injector cup to below range or dummy plugs or standpipes. They had the high pressure oil system apart is the point. And then to purge all the air out of the system, they went ahead and crank, 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 trying to get it to start. Well, that's probably not so awesome. So maybe that killed the thickum. But until we uncover, I suppose, what caused the thickum to fail, you're kind of destined to have this problem again. And we don't want that for any of our customers. So yes, your thickum failed. Why did it fail? Let's address the root cause of that problem. And after we've done so, now we can talk about, okay, let's address the thickum itself. Okay, fine. So if you live in a northern climate, your batteries have to test out above 800 cold cranking amps. And your alternator has to be good. And your grounds have to be solid. And you have to have no alternate things going on. Like for example, a bunch of glow plugs codes that are causing you to crank the bejesus out of your truck every single time you go to start up in the morning. All these things are problems that need to be addressed. So if you address those things, then you'll prevent a recurrence of the thickum failing. A customer a little while ago, poor guy went through four thickums in two years and he's like, yeah, I'm tired of these you know, crappy Ford thickums. Well, we know what Ford calls a rebuild and you know, there are differences in what we do, but there is absolutely no reason on God's green, beautiful earth why we should be ever going through a thickum four times in two years. That's insanity. So it's not the Ford thickum that's to blame. It's the truck that's to blame or your use of the truck that's to blame. So let's resolve that problem and then we can stop having thickum problems. So I hope this helps you. If you've got questions or comments, please leave them below and uh, we'll address them. Outside of that, I hope the rest of our videos in our video series help you. Thanks. PickerRepair.com. We're all in this together.